What's up Transformers fans, welcome back to the channel for my review over the Transformers Legacy United Leader Class Soundwave, a figure I've been looking forward to for quite a while now, not because it's a new figure, but my last one yellowed like crazy, and we finally have a buzzsaw. So, without any further ado, first things first, we will go ahead and check out the packaging. Let's move these characters out of the way first. There we go. So right off the bat, you can see a lovely image of Soundwave in his alt mode along with his tapes. We got Legacy United, Transformers on the side. We got that wonderful artwork, Transformers 40th Anniversary. Product shots on the side right there. You got Soundwave and his robot, alt mode, and the tapes. On this side, we got a beautiful image of Soundwave there again. And... I cannot help but notice that somebody at Hasbro actually messed something up. Can you guess what that is? Well, this particular image of Soundwave is actually the core class. <laughs> you can tell because you got the, uh, the toes sticking out right there on the corners. So somebody at Hasbro really screwed the pooch on that one. So, But yeah, this is not the figure that figure has. So... <laughs> So that'll pretty much do it for the packaging. And before we start talking about Soundwave himself, we will just take a quick look at the cassette. So this, as you can see, is the blue version of Rumble. He has a different paint scheme than the Studio Series 86. I'll just compare that right now. You can see the massive color difference there. This one is going for more of the animation look, and this one is more of the toy. So, you know, it, it's really your preference on which you like best. I know a lot of folks out there really like this one as Rumble, and that's perfectly fine. So there you have those comparisons right there. And then with the pile drivers, of course, you know, just like the other one, you can go ahead and tuck the hands in just like this. It is a tight squeeze, so I'm not going to just push it in all the way. So go ahead and tuck the hands away just like this. Attach the pile drivers. And there you go. There you have Rumble and or Frenzy with his pile drivers. Next up, we have Ravage. Now, this Ravage doesn't have a whole lot of differences except for the legs. Uh, the legs actually are done in black as opposed to the one that came before is done in a gray. So other than that, I'm not really seeing much differences. Of course, you know, you got these pieces right here behind the head. But other than that, I'm not really seeing too much differences. So, lastly, we have Buzzsaw. One of the primary reasons why I picked this guy up, and I am so very happy that Hasbro finally gave us a Buzzsaw. It's unfortunate that, you know, the only way we can get Buzzsaw is to get this whole complete set. So if this is the only reason why you're getting this set is for Buzzsaw, well, I'm sorry to say this is the only way to do it. So... Uh, we'll just compare him with Laserbeak, and by far my two all-time favorite tapes that came with Soundwave for sure. So, very, very happy to finally have a buzzsaw. I love that paintwork that carries over onto the wings. It looks fantastic. I'm absolutely adoring the buzzsaw. Now, in my personal opinion, I would have preferred Hasbro released Slugfest and Overkill alongside Buzzsaw. Instead, we got the reissue of Rumble and Ravage. So, I mean, it is what it is, but, you know, I'm happy we got this figure nonetheless. So, talking about Soundwave himself, it is exactly the same mold as the Netflix, just done in a more cartoon-accurate scheme. And uh, hopefully this one will not yellow at all compared to the horrifying uh, Netflix version that we've gotten before. You can see a major difference there in terms of the the plastic quality and how badly this one has yellowed. Thankfully, this one hasn't as yellowed as bad as a lot of other people's have, but uh, that's another reason why I decided to pick this guy up. So, very much happy to get this guy replaced. So, looking at the details, you know, it's the same mold. You got that lovely head sculpt for Soundwave. You got the Decepticon symbol right there on the chest. You got all that detail carried over from the previous releases of the uh, Siege, Earthrise, Netflix, whatever you want to call it. But 
Um, the thighs are actually done in a lighter gray, I believe. So ultimately decided to pick this one up over the Nemesis Bridge version. So pretty much the exact same figure. You know, it it, it really depends on if, if you didn't have this figure before with the Netflix. I know it was a very, very rare figure to pick up in the aftermarket. I don't even want to tell you how much I paid for that uh that Netflix version, but very happy that this has finally had a reissue. Is it a little too late? Maybe, because eventually we will be getting a Studio Series 86 sound wave, so you know, there's that. So and now for the articulation. Again, it is the exact same figure, so pretty much the same thing you're expecting. So the head is on a ball joint, so you can move the head all the way around. You do have some wiggle waggle right there. The arms can move up that far. You can rotate the arms all the way around like so. You got bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. And for some reason, Hasbro decided to keep this piece in. Totally irrelevant. You have, you know, there's no reason to keep these pieces in there. This is from the Netflix or the uh, Siege version of the mold, so absolutely no reason for this to be there. But we got an uncompromised waist rotation, also due to transformation. You got these hip skirts right here, you can move out of the way so the feet can move that far forward and move that out of the way that far back. And then you have the uh, thigh rotation just above the knee. The Figure can do more than the full splits. And then you got the knee bend at 90 degrees. And then you have the ankle pivot. And for the accessories, as you saw before, here we have Soundwave's launcher right there that belongs on his shoulder. So we'll go ahead and plug that back in. You got the full look of Soundwave right there. And then you have his blaster right here that, of course, you can press this side extend it like that and there you have his gun nothing new once again so there you have Soundwave wielding his blaster and of course you have this useless weapon that they decided to still include so this one you know of course you can flip it back just like that it's a useless accessory I mean if you want to you can still use this if uh, you still have the earth rise or the uh, Siege Megatron, you can plug this on his back to give it more of a, you know, cartoon accurate sort of thing. But, you know, this accessory will always remain in the bin. Now, I, I guess you can include the, the tapes as accessories as well. I don't, you know, they're, they're characters, additional characters. And the only reason why this guy is has been promoted to a leader class price point. Um, and, and, of course, there is the pile drivers for rumble and now on to the transformation one that we have seen a hundred billion times by now but i'll make you suffer and watch it again so to transform him go ahead and flip that back rotate the head down flip that back up move the arms out of the way go ahead and get the legs ready flip that up flip that up flip the feet in Tabbing that into place, and we will do the same thing for the other side, just like this, and lock that into place. Rotate the waist all the way around, just like so. Lift that up out of the way. Tuck the hands in, just like that. Flip this around. Rotate at the bicep. Click that into place. Do the same thing for this side. Go ahead and tab that into place. And on my copy, this doesn't like to tab in super securely. So if you tab these into place properly, just like that, these sometimes will pop out of place. So just be wary of that. So now you can go ahead and take the legs, rotate them up, clicking them into place, just like that. Tabbing that into place. And this part, I have to mention, I don't know what's going on with the mold, but the same can be said with 86 Blaster as well. So we'll go ahead and flip these around, just like this. And when you tab them into place, there's a peg right there and a peg right there. Once you get one side tabbed in, it'll take 
a bit of effort to just to get the other side tabbed in as well because it doesn't quite line up. You kind of have to flex things a little bit just to get it to tab in like this. And I don't know how well you can tell. Mm, you can barely tell right now. But on some copies, it's so much worse that this section right here, this whole area is kind of bowed a little bit. And uh, I don't know what the deal is, but, you know, it, it's kind of, well, you could kind of tell a little bit better. You could see that this side is slightly slanting down a little bit. But that's not the case with the previous versions of this character. But nonetheless, there you have Soundwave in his beautiful looking cassette player mode. And, uh, you know, it's the exact same figure, like I said. It's just done in a more cartoon accurate color scheme. And for that, I'm very happy. I'm very happy to finally have a sound wave that hopefully will never yellow in the plastic and especially having a buzzsaw as well. So just, just for the sake of it, we'll go ahead and transform buzzsaw, only buzzsaw, just because. Flip that in, flip those in, flip those in, just like that. And then open that up, stick buzzsaw inside. Close that up, and there you go. You got Buzzsaw inside Soundwave's chest. So I think out of all the tapes that I have, I would prefer this one to be in Soundwave's chest. I think it's just the yellow color matching with everything. But, yeah. Wonderful figure. You know, it's several years old by now, and uh, I'm at least very happy that we finally have this guy reissued. And, of course, we will be looking forward to the Studio Series 86 version, Hopefully that'll be a completely new mold. I'm fully expecting that to be a completely new mold. So will I keep this one once we get 86? I don't know. That remains to be seen. But anyway, that is pretty much why I got this guy, that being Buzzsaw. So there you have that. And now for some final thoughts on Legacy United Leader Soundwave. Yes, this is simply just a reissue and a welcomed reissue at that. I'm very happy that they ultimately decided to re-release this guy, particularly because I've already owned this one that the plastic has yellowed like freaking crazy. Yes, it's unfortunate that you have to purchase this guy to get Buzzsaw, but I'm very happy that we have a Buzzsaw nonetheless. But anyway, guys, that will pretty much do it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.